we're going to make a quick video on how to repair a Lenovo N22 laptop. It's a Windows laptop, and it's actually a nice little laptop. It's a little more durable than some of the others I've bought lately. Um, it's basically, you can see my hand, it's uh, not a very big laptop. It's like a 10 inch screen. Um, mouse pass, not a touch screen. I didn't get a touch screen this year for my students, but because uh, I found they really didn't need it. So um, it actually even has a uh, rotating video camera, which I think is really cool. Uh, whoops. Okay, I don't know why the picture just went away. Oh, yeah, because I'm on battery. So, um, as you can tell by the title, what I'm going to be doing is a video on changing um, a setting so that your mouse pad buttons work. Uh, I'm giving these out to students, and it's happened at least seven or eight times now, just this year, and we've only had uh, three and a half months of school. So, um, as you can see, the mouse moves around the screen. But if I use the mouse button, nothing happens. They're turned off. And for a while, I thought it was a software error, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I would re-image them. And if I re-image them, <laughs> it works. Well, of course it works, because there's a setting that's actually changing. So what you have to do is you have to go into the computer, and I'm going to log. So um, once you're logged in, again, click on something, the mouse, nothing happens. The mouse, is, mouse, was on. mouse, pin, mouse uh, buttons aren't working. So you come down to the folder here. I know the focus probably isn't working right. There we go. And then just go to this PC, go to computer, go to open settings. This is actually in Windows 10. Windows 8 would work similarly, just go to control panel. Same with Windows 7, I guess. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to click on mouse and touchpad. When you click on mouse and touchpad, you're going to scroll. I'm looking at the viewfinder, sorry. And go to advanced. Advanced mouse options. A couple things can happen here. Uh, one, where it says um, devices might not even show up. If it doesn't show up, just hit the enable button, which is grayed out. If you hit the enable button, it should show up. Um, if it doesn't, can actually go there's a button these are buttons Oops. Uh, hardware there we go. if you go here no not here device settings there we go um, usually it's enable that works I'm trying to remember what I did last time but basically um, this if this doesn't show up you just hit enable it might say no here and if it doesn't show up at all, I think if you just reboot it, it will come up. But there's a couple of different scenarios. But what you need to have happen is this needs to say yes. If it doesn't say yes, hit enable. It should say yes. Um, and there's actually a button on the, on the pad here where you can turn the mouse off. I wonder if that'll work here. Yep. So I hit that button. It says no. Hit it again. It says yes. Now, actually, I want to see if this will work now. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> so, um, actually, that's an easier way to fix it. I never thought of doing it that way. If you just disable the mouse and re-enable the mouse, it turns the keys back on. <laughs> but let's say for some reason that doesn't work. Uh, I've had a case where it didn't work before. If you go back here uh, under advanced additional mouse options, it's funny that that worked on camera. Uh, remember, that has to say yes, but if for some reason your mouse buttons still don't work, just go to where it says buttons. Whoops. Sorry, just go to where it says settings. I'm sorry. So make sure that says yes. Go to settings. If you go to settings, this button here might be off. If that button is off and I click, nothing happens. See? I'm clicking and nothing happens. So sometimes that button gets turned off. I don't know what happens if it's some kind of key combination when they're hitting this key right here to turn the mouse on and off. If for some reason it's not turning it off all the way or whatever, some reason, just go into that setting and turn that back on. Or just turn it off and turn it back on again. Sometimes that works. But if it doesn't work, go into this setting under settings under the mouse, uh, mouse properties. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Again, you got to go to advanced settings on mouse and touchpad, get to this box, make sure that says yes. When that says yes, go to settings, and then make sure that box is checked. 
Usually, if you're not getting a mouse button to work on the N22, that's the problem. Uh, but again, just turning the mouse off and turning it back on with the F8 key might actually solve the problem. But I actually one time had it not work, so yeah, and this one it just happened to work. But on the last one I did, it did not work. So that's why I had to go in and find it. So in case you're having trouble with your mouse buttons on a uh, Lenovo N22, uh, that'll take care of the issue. As far as issues go, that's the only issue I've run into with these things, and they work really great. So if that's the only problem we have, it's an easy, it's an easy fix. And it's actually a good idea to turn the mouse off, especially when young kids are typing, because they tend to drag their hands. So hopefully this was helpful for you, and uh, thanks for watching.